When Rallycross exploded onto the American scene through X Games, who was the first on the grid? You guessed it, Subaru. From the adrenaline pumping days of global Rallycross into the evolution to America's Rallycross, and then onto the high flying Nitro Cross, Subaru has been in it to win it from the start, and they've done exactly that. Through all of it, they've built what could be the greatest and most advanced Rallycross car in history the Subaru WRX STI VT21X. This isn't just another car, this is a four-wheeled monster created to dominate Rallycross. Engineered by the connoisseurs of speed over at Vermont Sports Car, this car is the pinnacle, the Mount Everest, the moon landing of Rallycross engineering. Now get ready to be blown away as we dissect this amazing feat of automotive brilliance. The VT21X isn't just another pretty face, it's a calculated aerodynamic masterpiece. You might think it bears a striking resemblance to the stock WRX STI, but let me tell you, that's like comparing a house cat to a lion. You see, Vermont sports car didn't just slap a body kit on it and call it a day. No, they went full mad scientist and meticulously engineered a body that's one part carbon fiber and one part Kevlar. When it comes to downforce, the front splitter and those sleek dive planes molded into the front bumper aren't just for show. They guide the air up and over those massive wheel arches, pushing the car into the ground to help it grip on any surface. Oh, and the wheel arches. They're fitted with louvers and openings at the back. These help efficiently evacuate turbulent air that gets stuck in the wheel wells. That pulls more air from beneath the car, decreasing the pressure and sucking it down to the ground. Vermont sports car didn't simply shed weight from the body panels, they went and trimmed it in places that you wouldn't even imagine. Take a closer look and you'll see this in the cosmetic details, like the front grille, the rear diffuser, and even the rear wing, all reincarnated in super thin but ultra strong carbon fiber. Speaking of that rear wing, you can probably tell it's not the standard STI rear wing. It's evolved a bit. After countless iterations, Subaru cracked the code to balance corner-hugging downforce with straight-line speed. Now let's dive into the nitty-gritty of the sideways aerodynamics of this car. That's right, I said sideways aerodynamics. The VT21X features flat vertical surfaces on purpose. When this car starts to slide around a corner, the air almost acts like a hand grabbing it slowing down its rotation and giving the driver substantially more control. Think of it like the aerodynamic version of trying to swipe your hand through water really fast. Lastly, they killed the lights, literally. Rallycross doesn't run in the dark, so who needs headlights? They've simply replaced them with molded pieces of carbon fiber that mimic the shape of the headlight and then seal the deal with a sticker that looks like the headlight. And of course the taillights got the same VIP treatment. When it comes to Rallycross, stock just won't cut it. Picture a carbon fiber, steel, and aluminum vault, and you're getting closer to what the VT21X is like under the skin. The stock WRX STI is by no means a slouch, offering a sturdy and well-engineered chassis. But Rallycross is closer to an expensive demolition derby so the car better be ready to take a few hits. That's why Vermont Sports Car basically turned the chassis into a tank. They seam welded all the factory pinch welds and welded in an ultra strong steel roll cage. They also had to fortify a lot of the other pieces on the car like the front and rear strut towers. As you can see, this beast isn't just built to take a beating, it's built to dominate no matter what's thrown at it. Now do you think you've noticed all of the differences from the stock car? Get up close and personal and you'll see that the rear doors and quarter panels are actually one single composite piece. Now let's talk about weight, or lack thereof. The VT21X isn't just nimble, it's a featherweight, tipping the scales at just 2600 pounds or 1180 kilograms. To put that into perspective, that's about a 30% weight reduction compared to the stock WRX STI.
Now let's move on to the power unit. This engine isn't just strong, it's Herculean. At its core is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder boxer engine. But forget about the 305 horsepower you get in the stock STI. This engine punches out a staggering 600 horsepower and 680 pound-feet of torque. This helps it accelerate from 0 to 60 in less than 2 seconds. Now let's just imagine for a second you're sitting at a stoplight. Once it turns green and you hit the gas, you're already going highway speed by the time the guy next to you hit the send button on that text to his girlfriend. And here's something else crazy to think about. The rally version of this car shares the same engine but with a 34mm turbo restrictor that only allows 350 horsepower. But this Rallycross monster? It's given a bigger leash and jumps to 600 horsepower thanks to a bigger 45mm restrictor. Now imagine what it would be like without a restrictor. It could easily churn out 800 or maybe even 1000 horsepower. And don't forget, this is a 4 cylinder engine. Let that sink in for a second. Now this isn't just any boxer engine. It's like the Rolex of boxers, optimized for peak performance. Do you know what the Achilles heel of a modified Subaru is? No, not the driver. It's the head gasket. So what do you do when you crank that power up to 11? Well, you scrap the head gasket. Subaru and Vermont sports car crafted ingeniously engineered seals, eliminating that age-old vulnerability. It really is engineering at its finest. Over about a decade of tuning, design, testing, and more testing, they improve the engine year after year. It features a dry sump oil system, an upgraded turbo, fresh air anti-lag, and a motorsports wastegate. Vermont Sports Car redesigned nearly everything from the inlet to the exhaust, as well as the timing system, the valve train, the rotating assemblies, and all of the carbon fiber covers that protect it all. They handle everything with the engine in-house, from the assembly to dyno tuning and calibration and track tuning. They're able to support everything under one roof. This game-changing engine was all in the name of performance and reliability, so they could get more out of the engine without the concern of blowing it up every time they hit the track. Another big name in motorsports plays a vital role in controlling everything. Cosworth. A name synonymous with performance. Their Pectel ECU is what orchestrates everything from the engine mapping to throttle response. It even logs real-time data, giving the engineers all the insights they need to tune the car to perfection. And all of the driver inputs are processed through a drive-by-wire system, ditching the need for heavy hydraulic components. Now, Rallycross isn't about top speed. It's all about face-melting acceleration off the line and out of the corners. The six-speed sequential gearbox and three-plate clutch from Sadev are engineered to handle the sheer brutality of 680 pound-feet of torque and the countless shifts under extreme loads throughout a race. It's not merely for shifting gears. It's all about having the exact gear the instant you need it. What's the one thing that Subaru promotes more than anything? Their fabled symmetrical all-wheel drive. A feature so quintessential to a Subaru that it's hard to imagine their cars without it. And you guessed it, the VT21X has it too. But obviously not the standard version. You can think of it like the remastered version. The all-wheel drive system in this monster is like a bodybuilder doing ballet. Powerful, yet incredibly precise. The advanced setup includes unique differentials and a specialized clutch pack that has a couple of tricks up its sleeve. For example, when you pull the handbrake, it completely disconnects the rear wheels to help get around tight corners or add a little bit more rotation. And depending on the track, the team can pretty easily modify the torque split between the front and rear wheels to ensure the best traction for whatever conditions. Suspension is a cornerstone of any rallycross car, and the VT21X is no exception. With custom hardware like tubular control arms and ultra-strong billet hubs, the foundation is rock solid. It's manufactured by a company called Riger, and you wouldn't believe how beefy this hardware is. 
the car boasts an astounding 12 inches of wheel travel, or 30 centimeters. You'll also notice that the front struts don't sit straight up and down like they do on your car. They're angled at about 8 or 9 degrees. That angle helps absorb bumps and cushion nose-heavy landings, reducing the stress on critical parts. When you take a ride in one of these cars, the first thing you notice is the whiplash-inducing acceleration. The second is the braking that feels like it's rearranging your organs. The car comes equipped with 13.8 inch brakes up front and 12.6 inch in the rear, along with Alcon calipers and endless brake pads. This combination gives the car insane stopping power. And just like I mentioned before, Vermont Sports Car has crafted a custom hydraulic handbrake, or hydro for the kids out there, adding an extra layer of finesse when needed. Have you ever wondered what happens when you mix genius level engineering with bold creativity? Well, you get the VT21X's cooling system. You might have noticed the large intake holes on the side of the car as well as the gaping hole where you typically find a license plate. And that's no mistake. What you're staring at is actually for the car's radiator. They position the radiator in the back of the car, and there's a few reasons why. One, it ensures protection from impacts at the front of the car. Two, it optimizes airflow in the engine bay. Three, it helps balance the car better from front to back. And four, it opens up room in the engine bay to add a larger intercooler, which is a necessity in rallycross. And the hood vents aren't just for show either. They're placed strategically for optimal airflow through the intercooler and other coolers as well. With no need for a top-mounted intercooler, like the road version, they were able to close off the hood scoop, shaving off that extra bit of drag. When you step inside the VT21X, it's clear. This cockpit is built for speed and safety, not so much for a Sunday drive. Carbon fiber is the material of choice in here, from the dash to the door cards and even the seats. Why? Well, it's all about weight savings. Anywhere they can trim weight and reallocate it to help beef up critical components is the goal here. Seating comes courtesy of Recaro with their Ultima seats. More than just a seat, it's a safety feature designed to keep the driver stable during bumps, jumps, and the unfortunate crashes in rallycross. As you can see, nothing was overlooked on the interior. From stylish looks, to weight savings, but more importantly, the safety. Who wouldn't want to take a few hard-hitting laps in this thing? Last, but definitely not least, let's talk about putting rubber to the road. The VT21X runs on specially designed KMC Rallycross wheels, and they're wrapped in Rallycross-specific Yokohama tires. And these wheels are pretty special. You can forget about your everyday cast or flow-formed wheels. Rallycross demands forged wheels for strength. Why? Well, forging fundamentally alters the molecular structure of the metal, resulting in wheels that can withstand the brutal conditions of Rallycross without cracking, snapping, or bending. To sum it all up, the Subaru WRX STI VT21X represents a pinnacle of motorsports design and engineering. From victories in X Games, Global Rallycross, America's Rallycross, and a thrilling driver's championship in Nitrocross with Travis Pastrana, this car has unequivocally established itself as one of the greatest rallycross machines ever built. It's a testament to Subaru's commitment to excellence, offering both a technical marvel for engineers and an exhilarating spectacle for rallycross fans around the world.